He explained that the band had given him a page from the Cambridge Encyclopedia of Astronomy, 1977 edition. the frequency of a pulsar signal was demonstrated, beginning with a research group at Cambridge. The diagram itself is a cutting of the continuous readout and then a stacking, he said. So what you're seeing is this comparative chart of the frequency and the accuracy of the signal. He went on to discuss how fascinated he was with fans adopting the diagram on the parallel to twos for their own interpretation. Scientific American reported that the image on the cover of Unknown Pleasures was not the first time a pulsar had been graphed. That took that place in 1967 in Cambridge, England. Thank you. 